On today's show, we make the Earl Grey Martini with a terrible British accent that changes from day to day. Or well, not from day to day, from time to time, from second to second, from moment to moment. As you can tell, accents aren't my forte. Let's get into making it. My name is Leandro Demon Reaver. This is the Educated Barfly. If sex with an alligator isn't messy, you're doing it wrong. Let's make the drink. All right, so today's cocktail, the Earl Grey Martini, was created by Audrey Saunders, who is a very, very well-known New York City bartender. It was created around 2003, 2004, and uh, we'll get into the rest of the history a little bit later. Let's actually make the cocktail, because it's a lot funner to talk about history when you're drinking a cocktail. And we're gonna juice that lemon. Oh, are we gonna juice that lemon? Okay, so we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna do one ounce of simple syrup. So we're kind of like inverting the sour spec here a little bit. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of Earl Grey infused gin. And just as like a little note, when you make this gin, it is Absolutely as simple as just adding some loose leaf Earl Grey tea into gin. Just a couple of things. I did 375 mils of gin and then two tablespoons of loose leaf Earl Grey tea. Pop it into a vessel. Just make sure that you don't over infuse it. So you wanna infuse it for about two hours. But I'll tell you right now that if you don't use loose leaf Earl Grey tea, you can use tea bags, but you might have to dial in the amount because I think the tea bag is actually finer. But that's just something that you can play with. Now, gin is gonna extract the flavor and the color very, very fast. If you let it sit for just 20 minutes, it would be pretty much good to go. Uh, I think the two hour infusion, that's what Audrey Saunders did. Um, I played with it a little bit, but the two hour infusion is kind of the perfect amount. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna over extract it. Uh, so don't do it for much longer than that because uh, it will then start to extract a lot of the bitter flavors out of the tea and it gets a little too tannic and, and, and weird. All right, so we're gonna use an egg and we're gonna put it in our big tin. Save that for later. So although we have illustrated a lot of different ways to do egg white cocktails, today I'm just gonna be doing the regular standard shake. So we're taking our egg white, we're pouring our cocktail into it like so. Seal that, put this aside for later, and then give it a nice dry shake. Now there's no set amount of time you need to dry shake. You can dry shake for 30 seconds or longer, up to you. I like to use a big rock of ice. There are those people that think that a big rock of ice will give you the superior texture, but it's not gonna give you the right amount of dilution. So if you want, you can put a little cheater cube in there and then you just shake until the cheater cube is completely melted and then you have your cocktail. The directions don't say to do this, but I think I'm gonna give this guy a little, I think I'm gonna give this guy a little lemon zest on top. A spritz of the oil here. All right, let's taste it. Ooh, nice and lemony. Get that tea. It reminds me of like lemon tea. No, what am I trying to say here? I don't know, but tea reminds you of tea? No, it just reminds me of like really nicely done, just very citrusy cup of tea, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's, it's like you get the lemon right up front. What's funny is that you think this is going to be overly sweet because you have more simple syrup than lemon juice. But what's kind of crazy about it is that the simple syrup actually helps to balance out that tea gin as well. So you have lemon right up front, but then you get that Earl Grey flavor, which is the main flavor profile would be bergamot. And then you also have the simple syrup kind of providing the backbone of the cocktail and much of the texture along with the egg white. So it's just very nicely done and much more balanced than I thought it would be. And it reminds me of like, just like a really nice lemony cup 
of sweetened tea. It's really good. So according to Robert Simonson, this was Audrey Saunders' kind of homage to uh, tea service at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in London. The thing is, is that what's funny about this drink is that nowadays, it just seems like a very common sort of no-brainer putting these ingredients together. But when this drink emerged, it was one of the very earliest gin drinks on a cocktail menu because at that time we were sort of emerging from, you know, vodka being the clear spirit of choice. It also was the very, one of the very first times that tea was introduced back in like, like during the cocktail renaissance for lack of a better term. And then also um, it is also one of the earliest drinks that used egg white back into a sour. So at the time, this drink was very revolutionary, even though now it just seems like a no brainer these days because we're just so used to all of these ingredients. There you, oh, I forgot to mention that it was created at Bemelman's. Uh, I know that I said the years, but uh, it was created at Bemelman's in New York City. And then Audrey Saunders went on to have a, not only like, I was gonna say she went on to have an illustrious career, but she, it's not over. She has an illustrious career. She has many, many bars in New York City. She is one of the leading people in the cocktail thought and theory and everything, and, and uh, she's fantastic. So thank you very much for this wonderful, fantastic cocktail. Thanks for listening to me ramble on about it, and I'll see you guys on another time. First and foremost, we gotta thank our patrons and YouTube members for their fantastic support of this channel. Without you guys, this channel would not be half of what it is and we wouldn't be able to, to do what we're doing these days. So I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. Um, the rest of you guys, if you guys wanna be a patron, you can be a patron or a YouTube member. Uh, both of them get the same perks. So it's really up to you where you wanna put your money if you wanna support us. And then also go to theeducatedbarfly.com, check out our articles, check out our virtual bottle program and check out uh, a bunch of recipes that we have on there. And I'll see you guys on another time.